In this tutorial I will talk about index node in geometry nodes. To get to the index node tutorial, I need the initial setup. Name it geo and go into geometry nodes. I'll go through this part quickly so I don't waste your time. When this part is over, everything will return to normal speed. I need a grid for background. I need a monkey for instance. Transform to adjust position and scale. I need join geometry to display both instance and grid. Transform to make the grid fit better. Transform I don't preset instance on points so it won't affect instances. The three nodes that will be used frequently in the tutorial are index, math and compare, which I created and left here for when needed. Now let's get to the main part. I started with set position. Duplicate these three notes to use. My idea is to use set position to position the monkeys a bit higher and then use the math to interfere with the selection to decide which will be affected by the set position. I concatenate index with compare. Since index is an integer starting from zero, I choose integer. Looking at this we see, the notes with index greater than zero will be affected by set position, i.e. any note with index greater than zero will move up along the z-axis by 0.2 meters. By changing this parameter we will determine the index of each monkey head. We have 9 monkeys with numbers from 0 to 8. Let's say I want the first row to go high. You see that the first row is 0, 3 and 6 have a common point that when divided by 3, the remainder is 0. So I used the modulo operation. Once you understand this, you can comfortably control instances with math operations. So what if I want to interfere with the vertices in each monkey? The answer is realize instances. If you use realize instances, the index will be the vertices in the entire instance. You can see now that it's not just the monkeys that change, but the change comes from the vertices of the monkeys. The problem now is how to know the total number of vertices, thereby figuring out how many vertices a monkey has to use in the modulo operation. When you select vertex, the total number of vertices will be displayed here. But note that this number of vertices includes the vertices of the grid, so I disconnected from the grid to know the exact total number of vertices. We have 4,563 out of 9 monkeys, so each monkey has 4,563 slash 9 equal to 507 vertices. Since I want the change to be the same for each monkey, index will be modulo with 507. A little change here shows a uniform change in the monkeys. I will make the eyes of the monkeys move forward along the y-axis a bit. Since the points on the eyes of the monkeys when having the index are consecutive, I just need to increase the B stat until the entire eye of the monkey moves forward. Now let's play a bit with these eyes. Now I want to change the color of the monkey's nose. The method is the same as before, but with a few minor changes. I clean these up first to make room for new nodes. First set material because I want to change the material. Still these three nodes so I clone it to use. Create a new material for the noses. Select the material you just created, then use math operations on the selection to determine which area to apply the material to. 
You see here showing more than 18,000 vertices. That's because we are using subdivision surface. I set it to zero to disable it. One more problem, the material will be set on faces, not vertices. So I will switch to face to know the total number of faces. There are 4,500 faces for 9 monkeys, so each monkey will have 4,500 divided by 9 equals 500 faces. So this will be modulo and 500. Index is an integer. I will increase until the color of the nose starts to change. I memorized the index when the color of the nose started to change and the indicator when the color of the nose finished changing. The index of the nose will be in the middle of these two indicators. Show this using greater than, less than, and n operations. A little tweaking for accuracy is fine. With scale elements to resize is also used similar to set material. I used random value to have a little fun, this part will be fast forward. Now I don't use monkey anymore, but a curve instead. I delete these nodes and leave only realize instances, of course, an important node. Create a curve. I moved it away to make it easier to see. I add one more vertex, now this curve has a total of three vertices. Now replace the monkey with the curve. I used curve to mesh and curve circle to give thickness to the curves. The goal is just to make it easier to see, nothing more. Use set position and the initial three nodes. Since the curve has three vertices, I use modulo with three. At this point, you probably understand it all, it's the same with objects. Now I go into edit mode of the curve and duplicate all the vertices. You can see the change in the viewport. Remember this state of the curves, it will be used in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching the video. It might give you a bit of a headache, but it will help. Goodbye and see you in the next video.